with a record $2.7 billion in funding that's going to historically black colleges and universities across the country. $21 million will go to two HBCUs in Kentucky, including Louisville Simmons College. WLKY's Shaquille Lord talked with the president who lays out his vision for the future at Simmons. Louisville's own HBCU, Simmons College, is full of history. Its buildings were built by enslaved people to pave the way for future generations. President Dr. Kevin Cosby says with the expected six and a half million federal dollars soon at their disposal, the money will continue to be used on student achievement. HBCUs are just 3% of the colleges in America. We graduate 23% of all black college graduates. Part of it is clearing the balance of some student debt, upgrading HVAC systems, and more. Currently, there's 135 students enrolled at Simmons, dozens left at the start of the pandemic. He expects pre-pandemic numbers this fall once these investments are made. Nationally, only 4% of higher education is comprised of black males. 4%. Simmons College, it's 52 percent. So the one thing these dollars can now go towards is infrastructure. Dr. Cosby says in order for Simmons to make that next leap, the investment has to be made somewhere. Simmons College does not have housing. Simmons needs housing. Our state and our city has received ARP monies. Simmons is eligible for those ARP monies. Right now, students either live in apartments or Many of our students from across the country are staying uh, uh, at, at dorms that are provided for us by Spalding. Dr. Cosby says his staff is in talks with the city to potentially invest in building a dorm and or student activity center. If approved, he says Simmons will no doubt be ready to become one of the premier HBCUs in the country. I think that success is always when preparation meets opportunity, and that's the reason why preparation is so essential because you never know what opportunities may come your way. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News. Thank you, Shaq. Kentucky State University is expected to receive around $15 million in funding.